Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Um, it's only been a couple of minutes since the last time, since I ended the last recording, but... Here I am. I noticed in my short break that I haven't really checked my skills at all, so I'm going to take the time to do that now. All of these are points. Main level three. How do I tell how many skill points I have? Perk points. Current level. Combat. Talmberg, Skalt. You can put points into the cities. Ravna. Huh. Statistics. Combat. E. Oh, oh, that's a, a collapsible tab. I see. It's not where you put the perk points in. Crime. <laughs> oh, we're going to get that number up soon. Very soon. In fact, I may... I think this session, I'm going to explore Talenberg and try and procure some wealth. Gambling. We're going to have to relearn how to gamble. Talenberg. Huh. Why is it telling me that? That's weird. Skills alchemy. Okay. Drinking. Well, I'll have to get that skill up. Nice. Hound master. Hmm. I don't remember there being like a hound that follows you around in this game. I guess I'll have to check that out. I want that. I know this is probably a boring way to start the video, but... That's the great thing about YouTube. You can skip ahead if there are parts you don't like. Unlike Twitch. Alright, Warfare. Let's, let's look into this one a little more in depth. Increases the time you can hold a perfect block. Okay, that seems like a very, very good skill. Okay, so having your strikes blocked costs stamina. Hmm. Okay. That sounds cool. I, I don't know if I'd worry about those. Now that seems like an amazing perk. Total skill fighting with weapons or unarmed. The more skillful a warrior you are, the faster your attacks are, and the harder it is for an opponent to defend against them. Okay, maybe that's why my sword was so slow at the beginning. Also, your weapons will be less damaged by attacking and defending. Bloodletter, you have a greater chance of drawing your opponent's blood. The more damaged your sword, the greater your chance of poisoning your opponent when you hit him. 
Even without poison applied to your weapon, if you do have poison on a weapon, or on a damaged weapon, the chances of administering it are increased by half. Okay? The more you're wounded, the stronger your attacks. When you draw an opponent's blood, it gives you plus one strength. Okay. Okay, so you can combine this and this and maybe this. Hmm. You'll have 20% greater strength. Probably need that. Chain strike. Each blow in an uninterrupted chain will hurt your opponent more than the previous one. Any interruption will cancel the bonus. I may actually get that. That's pretty awesome. Um, so, as far as weapons, I'm thinking that I'm going to go with, like, something non-typical. I know the swords are the best in their... Or, not the best, that they're pretty much the standard and they're probably the most fleshed out. But I kind of want to go with mace. Or, like, axe. Yeah, look at all those combos. Oh my god. Okay, I might have to go for sword. But, um, axe skill makes you more proficient with axes, increasing the power of your attacks. Instead of a started strike from the right, strike unexpectedly at the opponent's face. Turn your weapon around his and strike him with the blunt end. Hmm. Okay. I'll have to find a good mace, though. I think the game starts you out with a sword um, whenever you go through your training and whatnot. Strength. This is the important stuff. First aid. Insomniac. Do I have all of these? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. 30% longer without food. More charisma. Oh, no. I'm never getting rid of my stealth skill. Scout. Oh, you can be attacked during fast travel. Huh. No. Increase the time you can do without sleep. That might be good. That might be really good, actually. But then again, I kind of want to sleep and get in the... the lifestyle of the game. Penalties on stats. Huh. That's for people that want to go to jail often. Hmm. Where's the savage perk? Okay. Healing skill in dialogues. I might go with that. Because I don't think I'm going to be in towns fighting that often. Um, increase the sight distance of fast travel. Scout. Brute. Cloak and dagger. Kin? No, no, we're never getting rid of our strength. Scholar. A low reputation in a given area. You also get 
plus one strength, speech, agility, vitality. Your reputation rises much faster. So this would be good for... Hmm. I might go with this because I don't intend on getting a horrible reputation, but you never know. I may get caught stealing or something. Hmm. It's probably easier to lose a reputation than it is to gain it as well. So local hero is probably a weaker perk than in famous. That might be very good as well. I just want to look at strength because that's what I'm interested in. Most weapons except daggers. The more powerful your attacks. Inventory capacity. Mwah. Okay. As well as influencing how fast you can sprint. Strength is increased primarily by combat. Every other level up a strength perk point. Oh, is that the perk point? So I have a main one main level perk point and one strength perk point. Okay, I get it now. I don't think I need to do that. I don't have a shield. I want this. Sick again grabbed. Oh. I'm going to save it then. All right. We, we accomplished so much. Once again, sorry for wasting your time if that was boring for you. I hope you skipped ahead. I don't really know how to edit, so I can't edit stuff like that out. Um... Wow, this area looks nice. Ugh. What is that, a charcoal burner camp? Is that the river down there? Beautiful. There's a commotion going on over here. No, it's all of that. Just throw a stick with a bit of lard. The same Did as you that noise? But add some Vilma noise. heard the guards on watch. Nobody's going to attack us. Never I heard it from a traveling soldier. merchant. He had it in full. He... All right, that's kind of the the all of them talking at the same time is overwhelming. Here, you talk to me. Good day to you. What do you need? Is there a trader here anywhere, my lord? Is there someone here who trades in goods? Votiver is your man. He's the local dealer. A skinny fellow. I saw him by the granary. He'll buy anything that has any value. And he'd sell you his own granny. If he hadn't already sold her long since. <laughs> what do you think about Sigismund withdrawing? It was a stroke of good luck. I know everyone says how clever Sir Divish is and all that. But it was a dangerous situation. That Sigismund is awful. Unpredictable. He abducts the king. Raids towns, brings foreign mercenaries into the heart of our country. God alone knows what he'll get up to next. All right. Take care now. Something I also did was I adjusted the game volume up maybe like 5% because I thought it was a little low. Watching back the cutscenes. Can I steal this? No? Can't work the fields? Okay. Let's talk to everyone else here and see if there's anything interesting. Villager. Manny. Villager. 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 Sigismund and his heathen. All right. We'll look for named NPCs as to not spend hours here because that's what I would do normally. Hello. Oh, this is the quest marker. I'm going to avoid that because 
I was just talking to you. That's how you play video games. had a good look around my own. Freezing. Now I'm... Poor harvests, and now we've armies invading and pillaging. I tell you, Judgment Day is coming. And we have two popes. That's an evil omen. We'll be stricken like Sodom and Gomorrah. I pray you're wrong. Got anything to say? No, just sitting there enjoying life, huh? I would be too. Oh, there he is. That's the skinny fella they were talking about. What's going on in here? What is this? A midday rendezvous in the... In the wood drying shack? Parkour. Alright, I got this. Alright. Need some momentum. Alright, I get three more tries. One. Two. Alright, it's sliding me off. Give up. Trench all round as big as the gates of hell to get at the last ones. Well. Oh, I've ha I've seen this conversation. <laughs> Who are you? You're a very suspiciously placed NPC. God I'll be talk with to you. Him. All right, whatever. Good luck to you. Can I just walk out? Good health to you. Take care now. As far as I remember, he won't really let me out. My respects to you. Trade. Can we trade? Let's if wheel and deal, my friend. How many? Wait, these cost 14? Damn, I'm poor. A treasure map. Okay. Let's try and wheel and deal to get this treasure map or the, this lockpick so I can make some money. Is this the, the arrow that was in my leg? Sort by quantity. We don't need all this shit in our inventory anyways. Just weighing us down. Okay. Make sure there's nothing bad in here. Like I'm not selling anything I want to keep. And we will haggle. Let's talk about the price. Why not? Okay. I want more money. Let's see if I can't go for six and a half. Since it's you. I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Okay. All right, so. Good enough. Thank you. I love gaining reputation and not losing it randomly. 
I don't know why I'm so obsessed with the reputation, but... Where is it? Oh, yes. What am I stuck on? You won't see him marauding with foreign mercenaries and pillaging. Let's look for some loot. I may have to do it at night. It's not like stealing anything is really going to help me in this area. Because I don't think I have a fence to sell the goods. But I'm stocking up on it. Just, just consider it an investment. Ooh. Okay. Why did it go down when I was pressing W? Do I still have my sword? Alright. I could steal some gear from these guys like this. Yeah. I don't really want to, though. I'm not a, a scoundrel yet, and I don't really need money yet. Garbage pile. I did not realize that's what that was. Alright, let's continue with the quest. Enough procrastination. Oh, there's a vaulting system. Okay. Not bad. Sir Robot! My respects to you. This is actually the... This guy right here is actually the reason I want to use a mace. He made it look awesome. Where did these humans come from, anyway? I don't know much about them. Only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. Yep. It's always what, what it's Gutenberg? about. Gutenberg. Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good Lord gave me ears. And I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's village. Were there many? Indeed. But it was the Kutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair. Him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobst. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? For the loot. So he could loot it? Correct. <laughs> King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kuttenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kuttenberg silver is king. So Kuttenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favored it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kuttenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kuttenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. That was a, a lore dump and a half. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas' allies. Sir Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, 
Your lord commanded you to stay here. I'll, I'll use speech. We're not going to talk to Sir Robard like that. That is crazy. He has a higher status than me. So you use speech. Use the hu the the whatever. My parents died there, and I won't leave them to be ravaged by dogs. I have to bury them. Good God! No. Boy. Do you want to throw your life away for those who never get theirs back? Do you think that's what they'd want? Forget it. Fuck. Look out. Oh, what? Well, this doesn't take my what reputation the? away? Whatever. Alright, how's the quest log doing? Optional. Get a horse. Get out of the castle. The threat of the attack is gone, and I have to get back to Scarlet's. It is my duty to bury my parents. Only how I, only how can I do it? My lord forbids me to leave Talmberg. I should take my horse. Scalitz is a long way from here. Good. Where are the horses? Is it in here? Yeah, I think the horses are stored in here. My respects to you. May the Lord right, look. Done that one. Let's see the guy at the main gate and see if he has any like options for us. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely <sighs> wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate. And you especially are not to be let out. This guy has a nice hat. Oh, please don't make me lose my reputation again because my low speech. I'm, I, I want to use speech. And not intimidation, but my intimidation is high as hell. I, I hope that this doesn't win, actually. Let me out, I say. Don't you know who I am? Someone who's about to lose his teeth if he doesn't get lost quick. <laughs> oh. I should have known. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. <laughs> I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. What am I supposed to think up? How should I know? Maybe some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you? If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I let him go. That's obvious. All right, I'll have a look around for something. Thank you. May the Lord watch over you. I was a dick, but you were nice. Thank you. All right, can I jump over here? Oh, what the fuck? That fool from Scalitz has gone and jumped in the moat. No, Please no. The He's trying to escape. No. Can I reload? <sighs> I did not want to do that. Fuck, that fool from Scalitz has gone and jumped in the moat. Raise the alarm. He's trying to escape. Fuck, <sighs> that fool from Scalitz has gone and jumped in the moat. Raise the alarm. 
Whatever. We'll roll with it. I need to get back in. I want to steal the armor. Will you arrest me, sir? Excuse me. Got you. Jesus, you gave me the run around. Let me go for Christ's sake. I have to bury my parents. You're going nowhere. Don't be so emotional, Except Henry. Back inside. Thank you. But I have to All right. Take me. Uh, that's a good lad. Damn it. At least I did not have to like load back for a while. Let's see if I can save. Okay, good enough. A new level in drinking. Oh, save your snaps. Okay. Hello. Good day to you. What do you think about the Scalitz folk managing to slip away like that? I can't imagine how they did it. The more I think about it, they was either blessed or Sigismund's mercenary army ain't up to much. When you're on campaign, you keep watch no matter how much it's pissing down. If any of us make such a cock-up, <coughs> Sir Robard would flare the skin off our backs. You only say that because you never saw them attack. Either that or they let uh, them go on purpose. Well, it's a shame your folks couldn't be saved. Is Thank Sir you. Robard really that tough? Tough? Aye. But he's fair. He's a veteran of many a campaign, so he knows Warcraft. I believe it. Farewell. Alright, I need to make monies. So I saved. So I've got basically free reign over this entire area. Can he see me? Is anything good? No, no, I'm not in here. I'm not in here. Hey, hey, what are you playing up here? I'm in my, I'm in my room. Go. Who was that? What is this shit? Why are you all here? I wasn't doing nothing. Nobody's watching you. Just go to sleep. Interesting. Alright, I'm just going to be a little bit risky and relearn the stealth system for a couple of minutes. Gonna knock this guy out and see if the other people come back. Go away. Right. Can I not save scum in this game? I remember doing it. What the fuck? Alright. I saved. 
One second, I'm rebooting the game. I could have sworn that you can save scum in this game. <sighs> oh, CryEngine? This was made using CryEngine. No wonder it's so good. Let's go. See, that would be a place where I might need to edit something if I had the ability to edit. Okay, let's hope that it puts me in the right spot. Okay, good. Um, I guess we will leave the thieve. I want to see you. But I guess I'll have to be very careful about it. <laughs> this is terrifying. Yeah, I may have to learn how to edit at this rate if I'm going to have to restart the game every time I mess up. What? What do you think you're doing? Uh. Go away. Can't you see I'm trying to enjoy some peace and quiet in here? All right. How do I do this? D is rotate the lock. Why is it not rotating? Hey. Hey! You! Don't move a muscle! <sighs> Surrender! You've committed a crime and I'm arresting you. Not a good move. All right. 